Hello and welcome back to Stardew Valley. We are going back to the beach and I do not remember for the life of me what we actually did last time. We got a fish pond and we put a sturgeon in there so now we can get caviar. Uh, we processed a lot of geodes I believe. Let's see. It's going to snow tomorrow. We did a lot of fishing, I remember that. We were trying to catch a walleye. Spirits are somewhat mildly perturbed today. <laughs> Hi Anastasia. Whew, that was quite a uh, workout, walking all the way up here. It's not even that far. Anyway, I came by to ask if you wanted to have dinner with us tonight. You don't have to, but if you decide to come, could you please bring a largemouth bass with you? That's right, one of those big slimy fish from the lake. I need one for the casserole I'm making. Okay, well, it'll be at our house around 7pm tonight. Don't forget the largemouth bass. Bye! Okay then. Not that. Dear Anastasia, here is an old recipe that my grandma passed down to me. Enjoy. Robin. Pumpkin soup. Okay, so that's it for mail. We did want to get the house upgrade, but I didn't have enough hardwood. Once again, my dogs are with me. Pardon me if they are loud. They're crazy puppers, and they want to fight right now. Okay, so we have eight cows now. Eight cows, two goats. So we are getting a healthy profit from the uh, cheese that we're making. Oh my gosh, I want an auto grabber so bad. I feel like I might be able to actually afford one. Wait, what? What is this? Oh. It's for Jody. I think I kept a bass. How did I have goat's milk? That is an excellent question. Because if I had goat cheese... How in the world? Okay, well, I'm mildly confused. But okay. So it's like, if I have two goat cheese, that means... Girls! Girls! Stop it. Yeah, if I have two goat cheese, that means I milked both of the goats yesterday, which means both of them should not have milk today. Did I buy another goat and I'm just completely unaware of it? Okay, now I feel like I'm actually insane. Okay, I'm... I want to go back in there and check, because that's going to drive me absolutely mad. Okay, let's go check. I'm like, I, I swear I only... Girls! Excuse me. Sorry, they're... I don't know what their deal is. Okay, no! No, I only have two goats, so something's amiss. Because I had a small goat, goat's milk in my inventory. How in the world? Okay, well... This just got a little crazy. I have absolutely no idea where that one came from. Okay, how, how much hardwood do we have? Okay, we have 119. Plus the 12 that we can get from the secret woods. Do I have... I do... Oh, But it's a big one. Oh, I don't want to give up my iridium quality one, but I think I might have to. Let's see. I really kind of hate having my fish pond be s like so far down here, but hmm. 
I don't I just I feel like this farm is way too like long so anytime I have anything that's like any further down I'm like it takes forever to get there but oh well okay so I'm gonna go get this hardwood I really feel like I should be planting more of the mahogany trees because I, I tend to need a lot of hardwood this where I hate to be super slimes and of course my battery level is low there we go that happens like every time if I game at all on the weekend it's like oh by the way if you want to stream on Monday I'm dead oh that is another thing we did last time we upgraded the hoe we now have a copper hoe I could upgrade the watering can. I could, but do I really want to? I feel like I'm just being lazy about the upgrades. Because it's like, it's. I feel like it's not overly affecting me. Like, I do just fine on energy when I have the just the iron because I could upgrade both my pickaxe and my axe to gold but I just uh, uh, it's 10,000 gold a piece and I'm like is it really worth it so I don't know we'll probably hold off on that but I do want that house upgrade I really really do it's just I need 150 hardwood and I cannot seem to get 150 hardwood. I'm not going to chop down the mahogany trees that are on my property right now because it's a bad luck day, so I won't get as much. No, we messed up Jazz's counting. But yeah, I just, I don't... Um, it's just not a good idea to do it while we have bad luck because you get less wood. And I'm like, these things already don't produce a whole lot. So we'll wait. We'll be patient. I mean, I guess I could move the fish pond, like, up here? I don't really know what exactly that would do, but... Because originally in my plans, my, my layout plans that I had, I was going to put like a ton of fish ponds down where that one is now and then do trees in front but then I got to thinking about it I'm like trees are like the the fruit trees are really really expensive and I don't have the money right now to fill up this whole area so I, d I don't know about that and there's so many seeds in between here I really should just like pave this or something. Make some kind of floor because this, I hate. I hate when this happens. Because then I'll just be trying to walk through here like normal and I'm being blocked by all these little saplings and whatnot. Okay, we took care of that. I also feel like those trees that I put the speed grow, the tree growth stuff. I feel like they're not growing very fast, which is very disappointing. And I put the stuff on them all at the same time, and some of them are growing fast, and some of them aren't. And once again, nothing from the stupid cave. What oh what could we do today with our bad luck? It is Monday. What, what is there to do? Hmm. Well, I guess we'll just go around the whole perimeter, see if there's anything to forage. But it looks like that was it. Okay. So I'm gonna go up, sell the oyster, maybe go to the beach? What is our 
Okay, that's like halfway. Mm, I'm gonna keep this on me just in case I'm like out and about towards the like end of the day. It's Monday, so we probably won't get that much forage, but it can't hurt to try. And then we'll probably run into some like townspeople or something, some villagers. See what they say. Oh, look, there's Lewis. Ah, Lewis. Another year is almost over. Uh, this is my first year here, so uh, I'd like to put Jade above the mantle. Linus, do you even have a mantle? You don't even have a fireplace, sir. Please deliver it sometime today. Okie dokie. Oh, oh, oh there's. There's too many people. There's too many people walking around now. Uh, Caroline. I wish Abby wouldn't spend so much time in her room. Oh, yes. The whole mother doesn't agree with what her teenager is doing. Ah, Penny. No, not you. Not you, Lewis. I did have a very productive year, though. On the 25th, we'll be having the Feast of the Winter Star. It's one of my favorite events. Okay, so our secret person for the fest... Uh, I keep wanting to say festival. The Feast of the Winter Star is Haley. And I'm not worrying too hard about finding Haley a gift because I have some sunflowers. Did you see the snowman I built? Uh, no? I don't think so. Evelyn! Be careful you don't slip on the ice, dear. Aw. She's so sweet. How's it already? Oh my gosh, it's already almost 5 p.m. Um, 100 bone pieces. Do I have? Oh, wait a second. You have to collect all those, and there's no way I can collect 100 bone pieces before the end of the week. Um, um I want to say no to that right now because. My strategy on the last game involves the sewers, and I don't have access to the sewers right now, so there is that. Okay, I have a lot to do in a very short amount of time. I need to go collect all of this. And then I need to make my way back to my house, go pick up a piece of jade, go find Linus, go give that to him, and then go to Jody's house. <laughs> winter? I, uh, winter in year one is really difficult because unless you've built up like a lot of animals or like specific things that don't involve crops unless you've um like built up a lot that you can make money off of it is so hard to actually make decent money i do not make very good money so yeah like right now i struggle to find things to do because it only takes like a short amount of time to take care of my animals so i'm just sitting here like twiddling my thumbs going what do i do for this like whole day and then, obviously, like, right now, I run out of time. Uh, <laughs> well, t I mean, technically speaking, you can. I have seen people in playthroughs do that, but that just, uh... I have animals to take care of, and I feel bad if I don't take care of them. But, I mean, technically speaking, yes, you can actually just sleep through winter. You're, if you have animals, though, they'll just be very, very unhappy. Um, this is probably not the most effective way to go about this, but... Well, I mean, technically, your animals don't actually die. It just, to me, I get attached to my animals, and I, it makes me feel sad. So, I am very diligent, and I take care of them every day. Okay, Linus, that's for you. Yes, yes, yes. Payment as promised. I know, I know. Now, what is the fastest way to get to Jody's house? Like, do I teleport? <laughs> uh, 
I, th- my dogs are absolutely spoiled rotten. Like, it's, they're inside with me right now instead of, like, outside or in their kennels in the garage because I feel bad because it's too hot everywhere else, but I keep the AC on in the house. So I'm like, they can just stay with me. My husband hates it because I get, you know, they get dog hair everywhere because they're super furry babies, but... <gasps> no, I missed it! Dang it! <laughs> uh, is that... Okay, okay. So this is not contingent upon a specific time frame. I just have to come to her house at 7. So just because I missed it today doesn't mean I'm going to miss it tomorrow. That does suck, though. Yeah, I I had cats when I was younger, and oh my gosh, the like all of the biggest scars that I have on my arm are from cats. I'm like I love them to pieces, but they're they're very scratchy little things. And I had a uh, I had a black cat that she was just awful. She hated everything and everyone, and she didn't like being held until she was 11 years old. Like, I literally raised her from a kitten, and she just, she hated everything. No rhyme or reason why, just didn't want anybody holding her. If anybody came in, she'd, like, freak out and start hissing at them. And I'm like, me a little demon. Yeah, she is responsible for a couple of the scars on my arms. And then I had another cat. Her name was Pixie. I did not name her. She came with the name. But she was really good. She never scratched me on purpose, but she came face to face with the dog and she got very, very scared while I was holding her and kind of scratched the living daylights out of my arm. And I don't blame her for that because there was a dog and it was very scary. And, you know, it was the first time she'd ever seen a dog. So I can't blame her for it. But yes, I, I have scars from that, too. One of my dogs is snoring behind me. I feel like every time I do a live stream, she always ends up snoring. <laughs> Your cat's name is Cat. <laughs> That's actually kind of cute. I don't think I've, like... I know as a kid, like, I would name my stuffed animals, like, I had a stuffed rabbit and her name was Bunny. Um, yeah, that's... It's always interesting when you meet things that are named, like, literally after what it is. Although then again, it's equally hilarious when you meet something that is named completely opposite of what it is. Um, my One of my friends from when I was a kid, he told me that he's like, I want a, a St. Bernard. And I was like, a St. Bernard? Like, those things are huge. Like, you really want to deal with a St. Bernard? He's like, yeah, I want a St. Bernard and I want to name it Kitty. And I was like, Kitty? I'm like a giant St. Bernard named Kitty. I'm like, why? And he's like, so if it ever goes missing, I can run around the neighborhood going, here, kitty, kitty, kitty. And, you know, freak people out when this giant St. Bernard comes up. I'm like, what in the world? But things like that are pretty funny. Or like hairless cats named Fluffy. I'm like, the irony is just, it, it, it just cracks me up. Okay, we're gonna go put all this stuff that we got away doop, and doop. all this winter stuff too okay i need another blackberry and i can start selling my wine again i feel like i need more kegs like, I want to be producing more wine. Ooh, Jade. Okay, what is... It's Leah's birthday tomorrow. Okay, okay. Okay, yes, we shall go to sleep. Let's see. Okay, not bad. We made about $9,000. Or gold. 9000 gold. Okay, it is now the 23rd. Let's see. So it's snowing today. Mm, 
clear and sunny tomorrow. Spirits are very displeased today. Why, I, why can't I get a break? Like, why, spirits? Why, why dost thou hate me? If at least two of the days on the stream are not bad luck, it's rare. I don't know why the spirits seem to absolutely hate my guts, but it's a thing, apparently. Okay, grab that. Okay. What else do we have? Is there anything? Nope. That cave's been empty now for like six days in a row. I'm getting awfully tired of that cave producing nothing. Okay, we said hi to Lucia, so now let's go... Cows and goats. Yes, moo cows, moo cows. Okay, and today we should be able to milk all of them. Okay, did I... so... So confused. So very confused. Okay, so I missed... Did I just completely miss a day or something? Much confusion. Because there was two goat cheese yesterday when I picked them up. And apparently I did milk a goat yesterday. Which means I must have missed a day or something? I don't... Confusion. Now we're back to the mismatched schedules. Because goats only produce milk every other day, which is quite inconvenient, but... Hello, chickens! And duck and rabbit. All the eggs, like, blend in here. Okie dokie. That's that. I really feel like I need to start building coops for the separate animals, because this is actually kind of driving me mad. There's there's all sorts of animals in there now, and it's just it's too much. Too much going on in that one coop. Okay. Now we get to go sell all of this stuff. What do we do on a very displeased day? Actually, no, don't sell that. Mm. Yeah, we'll sell it. I don't really have a use for cloth right now. Nope, not that one. Okay, with my bad luck, what am I going to do? Not chop those down. I'll go to the secret forest and I'll go chop those down. Actually, I'm gonna go grab a void essence for the wizard because we're still trying to make friends with him. Drink water, stay hydrated. Okay, now we have a gift for him. We have almost $100,000 and I'm seriously just like holding on to all this money, just waiting for a good luck day so I can chop down the rest of the trees, get 150 hardwood, and go take it to Robin. That dog just keeps snoring. <laughs> it's, oh my goodness. And she always has to sit like right behind my chair when she does it. I'm like, really? I'm like, really, pup? You gotta do that? Okie dokie. I hope- I, I'm just gonna go for it. I really hope there's no slimes. Or at least very few slimes, because I, I just don't feel like dealing with them today. Okay, there's one, but if we stay far enough away, it won't trigger it. Ooh, but there are- okay, there are worms up there, and I do want them. So, I'm going to- okay, well, we, sn we snuck past. Oh, it's just- just seeds. That's not what we want. Okay, let's... Okay, there's one down here too. 
Oh, stop. And I know that there's another path up here, but I can never figure out how to get through there. I think I got stuck once and I had to like quit the game because I didn't have the return scepter at the time and I honestly just like I could not get out of that one so yeah it was bad okay so we have our 12 hardwood let's go say hi to the wizard do, 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 do. Rasmodius are you at home he is at home. Okay, take that. Yes, it is imbued with potent arcane energies. It's very useful for my studies, thank you. And then we just talk to him. I trust you enough to allow you into my basement. Treat what you find there with respect. That's new. There's a sigil. Okay, so this is the Shrine of Illusions, where you can change your appearance. I happen to like my appearance, so no, I'm not going to change that. Can I use that? Aw, oh, dang it, I can't use the sigil. Fine. I guess that would be cheating if I did, because we're not... We don't have a high enough relationship to actually finish the rest of that. Oh, we're ten hearts with George! Nine hearts, ooh, or seven hearts with him. Hmm. Maybe it's his gift giving time. I've actually done really well on the friendship this time. Um. Hmm. Okay, I want to take something to Evelyn. We already have something to the wizard. Dang, Robin. Okay, uh, Sam, he's so close. Harvey, Harvey, I don't think I have anything for you. Oh, but it is Leah's birthday today. Okay, I'm gonna pop up to my house real quick. I'm gonna grab something for Sam. I don't know if I have anything that Evelyn loves. I can grab a daffodil for her. But I, I, that's a like, not a love. But oh, we'll we'll figure it out. Run, stubby legs! What do you want? Oh my goodness! Bougie fish! A diamond? Why do they always want the most ridiculous things? They're like, I want diamonds! <sighs> I had one that wanted like, what is it, 10 iridium ore? I'm like, really? I'm like, fish say what? Ugh, fine. Okay, let's see. Um, do not hold that in your hands. Mm, for Evelyn. Yeah. Okay, Sam. That for Sam. I really hope that Leah goes to the saloon. Let's see. Okay, fine. There you go. Now we should be able to unlock more than just the one. Because there's a couple fish that if you put them in the pond, they start out with only one. And then they kind of like slowly build their way. But the more fish you have, the better rewards you get for having them. So, what is it? Sturgeon, it gives you more row, and then every fish has a chance to give you something like better, I guess. Uh, like the blobfish. If you put a blobfish in there, you have a chance to get um, pearls. It's not like a high, high chance, but um, is it his appointment day? I feel like it is. I feel like he's at the doctor's office. Okay, so we're going to stop in here and buy Leah a salad. Because for some odd, Leah likes, oh, she loves salad, goat cheese. Oh, she went in there. It's... 
Okay, so he's close. So where are they? I see Lewis. Here's Penny. I'm looking forward to seeing what your farm looks like in the spring. Uh, honey, me too, because I have no idea what I'm going to be doing with it. Um, okay, well, they're gone. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, there's the birthday girl. Take the salad. A birthday gift? That's very kind of you. I love it. You are very welcome. It gets pretty cold in my little cabin. This is why you need to have Robin build you a fireplace. Okay, so where is... Oh, wow. Okay, so that boosted Leah up. Pretty darn good. Let's see. Sam is gone too? Where is everyone? Am I missing a memo here? It's the 23rd. We did not... Oh, is Sam at work? He might be at work still. Hmm. I feel like this entire episode is just me trying to find people. Like, where'd they go? Oh, 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 they're home now. Evelyn, that's for you. Oh my, it looks wonderful. That's very kind of you. Aren't you cold? You should wear a thicker jacket, my dear. I'm not wearing a jacket, Evelyn. Um... Oh, yeah! Okay, so Evelyn is ten hearts now. Yes! We're still working on everyone else. Uh, we'll say hi to George, even though we're already friends. You know, I shouldn't get too depressed about my legs. I should just be happy that I'm alive. Well, y yes, but, I mean, that doesn't mean that it can't hit you hard. Hey, can you go find Haley and tell her I say- uh, Why can't you say hello to Haley? I swear, every time I see him, he asks me the same thing. Can you go say hi to her? I'm like, but why can't you? Okay, so Leah's here. No, they're not meeting in the back. Sam, I want to befriend you. Where'd you go? Okay, there's Shane. He's going to yell at me if I talk to him. What do you want from me? Money? I'd give you a pot of gold to leave me alone. See? Told you. Uh, there's Willie. A true angler has respect for the water. Don't you forget that. Okay. Ah! Why? What, Sam, why are you hiding behind a bush? Hi, Anastasia. Do you want to hang out or something? Oh, I'm, I want to give you this. Oh, yeah. This is my absolute favorite. You're welcome. Well, it's a good time of year to catch up on all the sleep I've missed. Uh, there's Elliot. People have scraped a living off of the sea for thousands of years. That's not exactly what you're doing. You're living in a cabin writing a book. I just go to the grocery store. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, understandable, I guess. Okay. What are we doing now? I will not miss going to her house. So I'm just going to peek down here real quick. Real fast, like. See if I can spot anything. Okay, no, I'm gonna gonna go back up, cause I hate it when I miss the opportunities. I'm like, no. There is a. Or, I'm actually gonna check what that did. Okay, so now now we have seven hearts with Sam. Sam, when's your birthday? Is it in the? I think it's in the summer. Okay. Jody, I beat you in your own- Jody was coming from the side of the house and now she's coming from the kitchen. Oh, hi, Anastasia. Come in. Do I smell fresh fish? Uh, do, kind of fresh. It's been in my my uh, wood chest for a little while, but that's that's okay. Sam, could you come here and help with dinner? Sam's like, hmm. Oh, he looks mad. <laughs> yes, ma'am. He does not want to help with dinner. Sam, you're not a teenager. Okay. You might be a teenager. I actually don't know how old he- I just threw a fish on the floor! What the what? <laughs> wow, this looks like quality bass, Anastasia. Thanks so much for bringing this. You should like it. It's iridium quality. Mmm, that crispy bass was delicious. The breading was out of this world. I almost feel like part of the family now. Uh, 
Okay, so we just had dinner and now she's coming home. Hmm. Strange. We'll talk to her. Hi, do you get tired of people asking about your farm all the time? Uh, not really. I mean, I really have nothing else to talk about. I think I would. Uh, Sam, we've already talked to you. Marnie. My nephew Shane has been staying at my place the last few months. Yes, he has, and he yells at me all the dang time. He helps me out with the chickens, so I'm not complaining. I'm complaining about his behavior. He's very rude. How rude. Like, I feel like no matter how hard you try with Shane, like, you just keep giving him stuff and giving him stuff and giving him stuff, and he just keeps yelling at you. And I'm like, there's a point where I just don't want to be friends with Shane. If I didn't have to be friends with him to do the completionist run through, I wouldn't. Like, he's just not a nice person and I really just don't feel like talking to him. Also, chopping down these trees because this is like one of my only chances to actually get wood. I really should not have chopped down a bunch of trees right before the end of fall because they didn't grow back. And trees don't grow in winter, so. Unless you put tree grow on them, and I don't like to have to make tree grow every single time. Okie dokie, how much? Wow, okay, so we only have, we have less than 500 wood. That's, ooh, but tomorrow we should have enough. Actually, you know what? You know what? To heck with the bad luck. I'm gonna do this just so that I can get my upgrade tomorrow. Haha! -ha! I win. Okay, so now we have, we'll have four hardwood left. Four. After we get the upgrade tomorrow. That's, that's sad. <laughs> I love that stone. I just, I like the noise that it makes. It's very pleasing to the ear. Uh, you know what? You know what? We're just, we're just gonna do a Scotia fishing. Just a Scotia. Because I have nothing else to do. A halibut. <laughs> Fishing is really one of the most tedious things in this game, but it does kill a little bit of time. Judge Cola, Sam likes those. Honestly, I'm kind of curious as to what happened with Joja Cola because you can fish a lot of them out of the, uh, the, like, the bodies of water. I borrowed a necklace from my mom, but I lost it somewhere near the bathhouse. She's going to freak out if she notices, notices it's missing. Oh, we have something to do. Okie dokie. Well, we're going to drop this off, sell the fish, and then go up there. Boop. I never know if you can actually complete some of these things before you get the notes. So I was actually thinking about this one earlier, but I hadn't gotten the note yet. But now we have the note, so we can go check. Although somebody did point out, there's like several different options on who it could be. Because, let's see, it could be Penny, because she has Pam. But, okay, so I know where this one is. It's in here. Can I not get this in winter? Is that what this is? I swear it was right there. Can I honestly not get it in winter? That's... Huh, interesting. Ooh, warp totem. Okay, this bear's looking up. Like, once again, I hate to do this while I'm actually streaming, but I have to look that up. Because that would be quite interesting if I actually could not get that in winter. Mm, doo -doo -doo -doo. Onto the Google. Um. 
Secret note. That's probably not going to yield me actual answers. Okay, so I'm just going to straight up Google it. Can you get the necklace from the hidden note in winter? Oh, okay. That's bogus. Yeah, no. So it's every season but winter. So no, actually, I cannot get that right now. I... Oh, the heck with the spirits. I'm somewhat mildly perturbed today. Dang it. I'm going to have to remember that for spring. But I need to go up there and get the necklace. Oh, that just... That... that Gert, that irks me. <sighs> I mean, I guess I can understand it, but like, dang it. That's not what I wanted. Not in the least. Uh, okay, Crocus we save because Sandy likes those. And then tomorrow we're getting our upgrade, which is quite exciting. Let's see. What is our friendship with Jody like now? Okay, so Jody was actually like pretty low, I feel like, but she's at five hearts now. Wow, okay, I feel like most people are at five hearts. This is this is good. This is good. We like this. Okay. Oh, it's late. It's late. Go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep. There's nothing... Okay, no. Tomorrow's just a regular day. Okay, once again, 9,000 gold. Which we like. Okay, we broke 100,000. Sweet. Okay, let's see. Weather forecast for tomorrow. It's going to be clear and sunny tomorrow. Perfect weather for the Feast of the Winter Star. The event will take place in Pelican Town starting between 9 a.m. and 2 p.m. Don't be late. The spirits are neutral. Two bad luck days in a neutral. Greetings, the design, the Queen of Sauce, here to teach you a new mouthwatering recipe from my secret cookbook. This week's dish... Pumpkin pie. I think I actually learned how to make pumpkin pie. Yes. Okay. I already learned how to make that. Yes. Hi, Anastasia. Beautiful day, isn't it? I guess. I brought you a gift. It's a sculpture I've been working on just for you. Ooh. You received Leah's sculpture. It's called How I Feel About Anastasia. I hope you like it. Hmm. Okay, well, let's go set this down and analyze this a little bit. It looks almost like a hug, but also kind of like, like somebody's trying to tie a knot. That's quite interesting. Hmm, I wonder what this means. Hello there, dear. I hope your farm is doing well. I'm sending you a little something from my kitchen. I hope you didn't. Cr I hope it didn't crumble in the mail, Evelyn. <gasps> we got cookies. Dear Anastasia, tomorrow is the feast of the Winter Star. Did you get a gift for your secret friend Haley? The feast starts at 9 a.m. in the town square. See you then, Mayor Lewis. Yes, I do remember that it's Haley. Yes, cat. <gasps> and we have our first caviar. Amazing. Okay, I'm going to go put the cookies in the fridge. Cookies. I'm going to sell the caviar because we can always produce more. Nope. Oh, I should have grabbed. Two more of those for more wine. Nope. 
Really? Really? I was right next to it and I missed it? Good lord. Hello! Mookows! And once again, we have to figure out which goat we have milked and which one we haven't. Got a 50 50 shot here. <gasps> I am so glad that you can't actually do damage to them because. <sighs> Just tried to axe one of the cat. or uh, one of the goats. Um. Okay. Nope, nope. We're still on weird schedules. Ugh. I hate it, because now I either have to miss a day, or... Uh, that's the only way I can make them back on the same schedule, is if I just miss a day. <sighs> I might actually have to do that, because this it, it bugs me when they're off, when only one of them is milked at a time. I'm like, can't, can I just do both, get them on the same schedule? Okay, okay. Hello! Hello, little animals. Okay. Just pet all of you. Okay, I think we got everyone. Okay, now we just turn all of this into mayonnaise. I always feel kind of guilty doing this in front of them. But, you know, you know, life, life is life, so. That dinosaur is bugging me with how long it's taking to hatch. I feel like it's been in there for, like, several episodes now. I'm like, just waiting. Just waiting on the dinosaur. Mm -hmm. mm. Okie dokie. Let's see. We need... Just, just... Goodbye to all of our hardwood. That makes me sad. Uh, I guess I can check the cave. How much do we want to bet there's nothing in there? Oh look! A spice berry. That's virtually useless. Yay! Okay, so this is house upgrade 2. So this will be 50,000 gold, 150 hardwood. And then the next one is the upgrade that will give us the casks in the basement. And that one's going to be 100,000 gold. So we're slowly, slowly, slowly making our way. But I will say, after... Oh, this is, this is the uh, snowman that Mara was talking about. Whoa. Voila! My newest creation. It's a deluxe four-poster bed crafted from the finest local hardwood. My hardwood. 80 of my hardwood. Um, Robin, what's the point of the four posts? It seems like an inefficient use of material. <laughs> it's called beauty, bud. <laughs> you know that thing most people find enjoyable? She looks so unamused right there. Just completely unamused with her husband. Hmm. I see your point, but we can't let that outweigh the utility and efficiency of the sleep receptacle. <laughs> Call it a bed! <laughs> it's a bed! You know, sometimes it feels like you're being deliberately obtuse just to irritate me. Is that what you're doing? Oh, all the kids are like, <laughs> Hey Anastasia, come in. Check this out. It's the bed I was able to make thanks to all of the wood you gathered. So what do you think? The aesthetics are perfect. The four posts seem inefficient. I agreed with him about the tomato being a fruit. I am not agreeing with him about this. The aesthetics are perfect. And Sebastian's like, yeah. <laughs> well, if anyone needs me, I'll be in the doghouse. <laughs> Now that I have a prototype, I can start selling them in the shop. Hey, these might, uh, these might look good in your place, Anastasia. What do you say? Can we pencil you in for half a dozen? I have one bedroom. Mara was like, Mom? Yeah, I have one bedroom. 
Okay, what are you selling? Stone? Oh. Oh, the days when wood was only 10 gold apiece. And stone's only 20? Ugh. That hurts, because later on she sells it for like 100 and 200. Okay, we already have a calendar. I don't really need a workbench. I don't even use the one that I have in my other farm. Telephone, I feel, would be nice, but once again, not necessary. Do, 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 do. Okay, so this is 6,000 gold for the deluxe red double bed. Mm. Okay, so she's got like all these recipes for like crafting floors and stuff. I kind of want the lamp post recipe. Mm. Okay, I am actually going to buy the bullet and I want the recipes for both of those. Upgrade my house. <laughs> Thank you, I'll get started tomorrow. It should be finished in around three days. Actually, she won't get started tomorrow because it's festival day tomorrow, so that's that yeah, that's not not a thing. But that's fine. Okie dokie, I'm gonna stop in here just to take a gander at what we're missing. Okay, so we have the pantry. Which, if I have anything to say about it, will be done this spring, because all I'm missing is like two gold star green beans. And then I can get the greenhouse. Finally. It's been driving me absolutely mad. This one we still have a long way to go. Tilapia. I need one of the... I I was trying to get the scorpion carp, I remember this. Um, okay, so... The walleye is just so stinking hard to get. And... Is that... That's it. All we're missing is this one and... The pantry. So this next year we should be finished with the with the um, community center, which is excellent news because I want to be done with it. And also, why have I not gotten the key? Uh, what do I do for fun? Hmm, that's a good question. I like sleeping. Oh, <laughs> Jody, you look so sad when you say that. <laughs> The Feast of the Winter Star is supposed to be a good time to show gratitude for all the good things in life. Me, I'm mostly interested in the food. <laughs> He's such like a young kid sometimes. People stay indoors a lot during the winter and do boring stuff. Maybe if I read a book I'll be less bored. Nah. Like that is just one thing- I, I shared a meme on my discord server about <laughs> like the the different people and what they uh, the bachelors and the bachelorettes and what they act like and some of them were so accurate the forest is a wonderful place have you been there i think the funniest ones were the fact that harvey and elliot were listed as the 40 something you meet on tinder who will treat you right i'm like oh my gosh <laughs> i'm like wow but yeah they talk about i think sam and Haley are like Teenagers with abandonment issues. <laughs> it doesn't seem like you have anything to donate. Better get out, out there and do some treasure hunting, huh? <sighs> Sir? I'm going to eat so much cranberry sauce tomorrow. Okie dokie. Miss Penny says I, ha I have to read this book before I can go play. Vincent, it's freezing outside. None of us seem to be wearing jackets. I I lived in Pelican Town my whole life. Uh, can you believe that? Yes. Yes, I can. Aunt Marnie won't let me go out after 6 o'clock. It's not fair. What is, the, what is with these children crying so much? Okay, so I feel like I should have enough to actually get the sewer key, but apparently not. What do I have to have? What do I need? Ugh. This is ridiculous. 
Okay, let's see what's down here. There's so many things, like, I didn't really pay attention to the first- in my first playthrough, so I'm like, okay, what- like, what all is required of me to get the stupid key? And I also feel like I'm not finding nearly as many artifacts as I was the first time. Like, I just feel like they pop up a lot more rarely now. Which, true or not, it's, it's a little annoying. Let's see. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go home and sell this stuff. Now we're back down to 50,000 gold. I really probably could have waited to get the uh, house upgrade, but I just, I just didn't want to. That's the thing, every time I spend like a large quantity of money and resources, I just feel guilty about it. Okay, so we could get another coop. I'm like thinking about my next move. I really do kind of want to coop so I can start like kind of spreading the animals out. Because I just don't like it when they're like on my first farm every... I have like f five barns and six coops and it's because I have a coop for like every different type of animal and a barn for each type of animal. I don't mix them together. So now I'm like hmm. Should I start doing that? Is that an efficient way to do this? Is that even worth it? I did not check on my fish pond. Nope, nothing for me today. Um, the wizard. Okay, we can give him one more gift. Which at this point, why not? Do, 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 do. Okay, up and up and up. Grab that. I need to find a use for all that sap. I have over a stack of sap. I remember the first time I ever played, I sold it and I just kept selling it and then I realized that I needed it for some things and that it was inconvenient because I hated going out and chopping all the trees. But hopefully next season all the trees will start growing again and I can actually go get more wood. Because I am running out of wood like crazy. I also wish that like the better friends you became with Robin, the like you'd get like a perk or something like, oh, decreased prices or like you know, to go by faster when she's building something. But, uh, you yeah, know. Let's see. Please. Okay, so we're eight hearts with him now. That's. dang. I feel like knowing exactly what to give people just completely gives you an edge and it makes it so much easier to make friends. Okay, let's see. Do we have any more trees down here? Uh, crystal fruit. Okay, I'm gonna spend money on something frivolous just because I want to. I want a different... I, I don't want to keep the hat anymore. It's, it's bugging me. Okay, so I know I want one of these bows or a clip or something. I really wish they would let you see what you would look like with it on first. Because this is the bow I have on my last character and I absolutely adore it. But I like the thought of it being green, but this one sits straight on top of your head. Like, this one's kind of off to the side. So I'm like... Ugh. Or I could get like the Tropoclip or the daisy would be cute. Oh, and she would take a little palm tree. The daisy, maybe? I feel like that would be cute. 
or the watermelon band. Okay, daisy or watermelon band? Hmm. I will get one of these two. I just don't know which one. I feel like the green would be cuter. But then like flowers go with like everything. Hmm. A fresh spring daisy to put in your hair, or the color scheme was inspired by the beloved summer melon. Okay, so it looks like the band is actually, like the headband part is pink, and then the bow whatever on top is green. <sighs> Why do I have such a hard time spending fake money? Do I want a daisy or do I want a water? Okay, you know what? You know what? Actually, we're just gonna buy both. We're just gonna buy both and and hope that I don't hate myself for it. Okay, so the daisy. Oh, that looks so cute! Okay, I have, I absolutely love that. Or that's actually really cute too. I wish it sat a little like higher. Okay, I'm gonna keep the daisy in my hair for now. And look, you can actually see my orange hair. It's so cute! I've been wanting something else besides the straw hat for so long. It's just I never... I never wanted to spend the money. But now I did. So now, now I can just ooh and all over how cute my character is. Okay, be gone. Be gone, slimes. Ooh, a secret note. Okay, it's one of those. Whose house is that, though? Whoa, 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 whoa. I got distracted looking at the wiggle worms. I guess we can go do that secret now. I wonder... I know a handful of them. Another secret note? What is this? Uh, it's a note of Maru's. Parts still needed for my greatest invention yet. Gold bar, iridium bar, battery pack, diamond strawberries. Okay, so these are what she loves. And iridium bars? Really? Like, battery packs? I can do that. But iridium bars? It was a hard enough time getting the one for Emily for her um, bundle in the community center. That was a struggle. And now she's just like, oh, by the way, I love them. I'm like, you, you might love them. I, I can't give them to you. I, I can't. My lord. These people like some bougie stuff. At least Elliot admits, like, he'll straight up tell you that, like, yeah, he likes the nicer things in life. I'm like, you know what? You know what? That's fine. There's a reason I married him on my last farm. I miss him so much. Every time I see him on this game, I'm like, he's not my husband. Okay, so let's go find which house this is. Um, okay, secret notes. Okay, so it has three windows starting at... Is that... I think I might know whose house that is. Hmm. I think, is it this one? Wrong way. I think it is this house. 
Okay, so let me write this down real quick. So this is this way, up, right, up, right, down, left, down, left, down. Okay. So starting here, go all the way left, go all the way up, all the way right, all the way up, all the way left, or to the right, I'll run into something eventually. Okay, all the way down, all the way, all the way, all the way. Oh, ho, ho. Lewis, this is one of your secrets. A solid gold Lewis statue. Lewis. Oh, ho, ho. so that's where all the town's money has gone. Okay, is he not going to react to this? Okay, I don't like being the mean person, but I think I'm gonna do it. We are going to take this, and we are going to put it in the middle of the town. Eh, I'm like, or Abigail. Oh crap, I called the woman by the wrong name. Oopsies. He's going to be quite angry with us in the morning. <laughs> and the funniest thing is it's the Feast of the Winter Star. So, or, yes. Yes. I actually got it right this time. Ooh, he's going to be mad. That's his fault, though. He shouldn't have left instructions to get to his, uh, his golden statue. I think that just officially is going to be the title of the, uh, the episode. Like, Lewis, I know what you've done. For shame. Okay, well, it's late. I'm gonna go throw these in here. Okay, I'm gonna go toss this into the chest real quick. Okay, now we're gonna go to sleep. Okay, so tomorrow and then, oh, it's Clint's birthday. Need to figure out what he likes. <gasps> look, 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 it's Santa! Oh, I love that animation. It's Santa on a sleigh riding past. Okay, that makes me happy. Okay, so caviar is 700 gold. Wow. Although then again, duck mayonnaise is, is like 525. So that's... Hmm, I feel like it should be worth a little bit more. Okay, well that was the last day on this episode. I will be back, okay. I will potentially be back on Wednesday. I do, that is my scheduled day for streaming, but since I am serving on jury duty for the month of July, um, one of my court dates is on Wednesday. So Tuesday night I have to call in and see if I actually have to go and serve on jury duty on Wednesday. If I do not have jury duty, I will post it onto my Discord, which is linked on my Twitch channel. Um, 
yeah, so I will <laughs> I will post if I have jury duty or not. Um, also, if I have jury duty, but the time doesn't interfere with the live stream, I will also post that. But if all else fails and I do have jury duty and I can't do a live stream, I will be back on Friday. And Friday will be our mega episode. Or not the mega episode, the end of season episode, which will have four days because we only have four days left in winter. So we'll do the 26th, 7th, 8th, and that'll be that. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoy the rest of your night, and I will see you on the next stream. Bye! <laughs>